to begin the voice file import process for Dragon Naturally Speaking version 10. We first need to open the program, so we will double click on the Dragon icon. And at this time you want to make sure that you have your USB drive plugged into one of the ports in your computer. This USB drive would contain the voice file that you wish to import. We will click on the green start button and the Dragon toolbar will begin to load. Please immediately close any pop-up windows that appear and also close the Dragon tip of the day window. We will then go up to the Dragon toolbar and select Naturally Speaking and from that drop down menu we will select Manage Users. We will now get a screen displaying all the current voice files available uh, on the Dragon program. So when we want to import a new voice file to add to that list, we go over to the right hand side and select Advanced and then select import. We now need to select the destination from where that file will come from. So from the drop down menu we will go down to Kingston E or removable disk E. That is your USB drive and that is where your voice file has been saved. So as you can see, it has already identified uh, a list of voice files that have been saved to that USB drive. So you will then select the voice file that you wish to import. I'm going to select Cameron. I'm going to double click on the file. Some subfiles will open up under the name that I have selected. I want to make sure that I have selected the correct user and then I'm going to hit OK. The file will then copy over in a matter of seconds depending on the file size. If it's a larger a file size it'll take just a few seconds longer but the process is usually quite quick. And then when it is successful, a window will show letting us know that the import has been complete. We will then select OK. And our new voice file will now appear on our list of users. So we know that that voice file has been successfully transferred to the Dragon program on the particular computer. We will then hit close out of Manage Users, we will close the Dragon toolbar and we now know that that voice file is ready to use on this computer and that no retraining for that particular student will be necessary.